the monohybrid cross. So Mendel, George and Mendel, he did a lot of experiments. That's called hybridization experiment. In that, he has done one particular important cross that is called monohybrid cross. The term mono refers to single hybrid. So what he did is in monohybrid cross, he has selected only one character for his experiment, one pair of contrasting characteristics. So he did experiment seven characteristics in that he has taken only one character. That character what he has selected it is the height. The height, what are the contrasting characters? One plant parent is tall, the other parent is dwarf. And in that experiments what he has conducted, he has identified this particular tall plant, it is expressed more in all the generations. So this particular character capital T, capital T is given to this particular plant because it is dominant. And dwarf plant, it is small t, small t. So this is the parent. So there are two parents are here. One is the tall plant. That is capital T, capital T and dwarf which is small t, small t. And here this tall plant, dwarf plant, they have the gamut. For this gamut is capital T, for this dwarf plant the gamut is small t. So here, so this is the gamut, small t. So when you do the cross, the F1 generation, that is the first filial generation, first generation, it will be capital T and small t and that is tall. So what he has observed in the F1 generation, in the F1 generation, all the plants were tall. All the plants were tall. That is what he has observed in the F1 generations. Even though he has crossed capital T, capital T, a tall plant, a dwarf plant, what is obtained in F1 generation, the first generation, all of them were capital T, small t, which is a tall plant. Because this capital T, it is the dominant characteristics. So capital T is observed. So now we are going to learn in the F2 generation, what was the ratio and how it has appeared. In the F2 generation, so what he did is, he did selfing. Selfing means the capital T, that is the F1 generation, what is obtained is capital T, small t, and it is crossed with capital T and small t. This is called selfing. And now it did a checkerboard. Checkerboard, what we have to do, we have to put the gametes there. So this capital T, it should be here and this small t should be here. Similarly, this capital T should be here and this small t. So now we can do the crossings. So when the crossing, this capital T with this capital T. So capital T, capital T. So this plant is tall because both are capital. And this capital T with this small t. So capital T, small t. Again, the capital T dominant character is there. It has to be tall. And similarly, you have to cross this capital T and small t. So always the dominant character should come first, capital T, small t. Now this plant is also tall. Whereas this plant, capital T, small t and small t, small t, small t, so this is the dwarf. So what he has observed in the F2 generation, in the F1 generation what he has observed is all the plants were capital T, small t, all of them were tall, all the four plants were tall. Whereas here, what is observed in the F2 generations, there were three tall plant and one dwarf plant. And the ratio, what is obtained here, the phenotypic ratio. Phenotype, it refers to the appearance, the external appearance. When you see a plant externally, three were tall. So three is the ratio and one were dwarf. So three is to one ratio. But there is one more ratio is there which is called genotypic ratio. The genotypic ratio is nothing but the genetic makeup of the organisms. If you observe here the genetic makeup of these four plants, 
one it is capital T capital T the other two are capital T small t and one is small t small t so here both are capital T capital T they are dominant so that is called homozygous dominant homozygous means it it will be same the both alleles are same so homozygous dominant is only one here so one is the ratio and capital T small t so this is called heterozygous dominant hetero means different so here capital T small t capital T small t the ratio is 2 and small t small t again this is homozygous but this character is recessive homozygous recessive character so that is 1 so you observe this characteristics the phenotypic character that is the external appearance we can see three plants were tall and one were dwarf whereas when you observe the genetic makeup of the organisms capital T capital T is one plant that is why it has become one and two were heterozygous dominant so this is heterozygous dominant capital T small t two ratio and one plant is homozygous recessive if both the alleles are same suppose capital T capital T or small t small t it is called homozygous if they are different it is called heterozygous so this is the ratio what he has obtained the phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 in mono hybrid cross and genotypic ratio it is 1 is to 2 is to 1 this is about the mono hybrid cross which was hybrid decision experiment was conducted in Pisum sativum the characters are height of the plant that is tall plant and dwarf plant when he has crossed the tall plant the first generation all the plants were tall whereas in the f2 generations three plants were tall and he has obtained one dwarf plant that is the ratio one here so one is three were tall and one is recessive character this is the ratio what he has obtained in mono hybrid cross